And she's a bit of a mystery. And she showed some really good skills in that first round racing against Sally. She never took her eyes off her. And let out. So both girls in the last round let out. Jane this time has the lead. Meg doing a good job of just sitting in Jane's blind spot at the moment. Now moving up onto her hip a little bit, picking up the pace just a touch. And lifting the pace a little bit just to keep her behind. Lap and a half now, the distance to go. Around about 500 or so metres. Meg just wobbling around a little bit behind Jane, maybe trying to keep her just guessing as to where she is. Pace just lifting a little bit now as they're about to get the bell, 600 odd, 300 odd metres to go. The bell rings, the pace still not on, Jane relying on her jump by looks of it, by letting it out and keeping the pace low. Sooner or later someone's going to have to make a move, this is a bit of a game of chicken. Who's going to do it? No, I'm not going to give any coaching advice. Meg moves up around the outside, Jane responds down in the lane with a big stomp on a big gear, but Meg with a bit more speed around the outside, jumps clear. And she's on a little gear and you can see Jane struggling to get on top of the gear she was on and Meg has just kicked away. Letting her out, Jane's coming back at her now. Now she's got on top of the gear so Meg's going to have to keep working. This is going to be a race to the line. But Meg's going to hold her off. And Meg puts through it. The two underway, it looks like uh, Sally's drawn the lead. We need our C graders, please, to be, uh, sorry, D grade, B graders, I'm sorry, to be getting themselves ready. So if you're in B grade, please head on down to the lane. As you can see, races are banging out pretty quick. Jennifer ducking and weaving behind, behind Sally. Sally doing a lot of looking in front of her. It's a skill that she's going to need to keep practicing and working on. Can Jen use the height that she has at the moment to get a bit of a run at her? Or will she be patient and wait? She's going to be patient and wait so far, Sally up high. Jennifer just picking the pace up a little bit, and Sal makes the move. Very early on in the pace, in the pace. Question is, can Jen use the draft to get past her? Sally punching a big hole in the air. And Jen, well and truly in the draft, so she's getting some help, but has she got the speed to get her? At this point in time, it doesn't look like it, but she might be able to lift up the back straight. And Sally kicks again, but Jennifer's coming at her. The gap is narrowing quite rapidly as they come around through that last bend through turn three underneath the evil fast food vendor sign, but Sally's holding on and is just kicking away again now. And a little bit of wobble. She's still quite unstable on that bike at speed, but ends up taking it out by a comfortable margin of two or three bike lengths. So Sally won in the bag. The Jordan in the white, Jacob in the pink. Jacob ducking, diving behind Jordan, trying to unsettle her. And again, in qualifying, Jordan was 0.5 quicker. But again, I don't think that reflects really the ability of these two riders. I suspect Jacob's flying 200 time was uh, well under what he's really capable of. The moment he's ducking and weaving a lot behind Jordan, just trying to unsettle her a little bit, make sure she doesn't know where he is, try and take her by surprise. She's not really having much to do with it. She's just riding along the blue line and watching. He's had a few dummy runs of coming underneath her and she hasn't tried to shut the door at all. Maybe she wants him to go early, who can tell? Jacob at the moment now, up on her hip. Again, starts a ducking and weaving through the bend. And if Jordan's smart, she can actually kick clear while he does that. Now Jacob starts to lift the pace and Jordan has to respond down the inside with a bit over a lap to go. And it's a drag race around the bend. They're side by side coming into turn one. This is where it gets interesting because the outside rider has a bit more distance to cover but now he can drop in the lane if he wants to, no. Jordan lifts again and just holds him up. He's got to give her room. Now Jordan has his wheel. Is she going to have the legs to come past him at this point? It doesn't look like it but you never quite know. At this point Jacob hasn't been able to get down into the lane. But he's going to hold her off and win by about half a bike length to my mind. So Jacob taking that one. Jordan showing a little bit of inexperience there with uh, this is a great opportunity for them to do it and not uh, get eliminated at a first glance. First glance. So next up we have Swerve and Move. By the look of it. And Mark Wilson. 
14.59 and Mark were at 14.7, so 0.2 between these two in Merv's favour, I think. Yep, Merv was two tenths quicker than Mark in this particular route in the qualifying. But as we saw in the previous round, John, uh, Johnny Lewis was a bit quicker than Merv, well, sorry, was um, slower than Merv in qualifying, but, took it, but managed to win the race. Now, Merv makes the move, coming out of turn four, drops down into the lane, Mark having to follow him. Mark close enough to have the help of the draft. The draft is long and skinny, they come around down the back straight. Mark's going to have to really kick hard if he wants to catch Merv at this point. Merv was the quicker of the two in qualifying, and it looks like he might hold Mark off this time. He's got to stay down the lane, keep it neat and tidy, and he does. It's a pretty desperate charge to the line, but Merv to my mind by about a bike lane. So Merv Tracy takes that one. Could be dangerous. Johnny Lewis and David up on the track at the moment. Johnny leading out. David sitting in the back. Being very patient. Just below the blue line. Not really allowing John to move up. But John can move up if he wants. And no doubt he will do what he wants. He's raced for a long time, knows how to race the sprints, very good rider. Not necessarily fast, but very good in the way of tactics and knowledge on how to ride. Guys like him who have taught me the art of track racing and in particular track sprinting. So I actually thank him for that. She has a kid. Both got in the bell. John's looking over the shoulder. He knows how to ride the track with looking over the shoulder. Shuts the door on David a little bit. David a bit hesitant. David going the outside, having a crack to go the outside. Side by side. They were side by side. But John has opened up the gap and looking very good for a win. And that's Johnny Lewis's race. David coming in afterwards.